Do you guys see how crazy that is? Pretty insane. So, I just wanted you to see how violent the energy is. It just started. And the smoke underneath, those are conjurings of um, dark magic. It only happens in the conjurings of dark magic. And there's a portal that opened yesterday um, with a new moon um, solar eclipse. Um, my business account got hacked into. I don't know what happened. I didn't click on any link. I didn't um, get any weird emails. I mean, there's those standards like, hey, we'd like to sponsor you. Please email this and that. But I never respond to those. And, you know, it's it's very obvious. So anyway, um, sorry to those who got exposed to that nonsense too. But um, it's still being resolved. But in the meantime, I just wanted you to capture a little bit of the, you know, the volatility. Um, so for some of you that don't know, because this is my personal account, um, I do energy readings and um, through different divination systems. Um, and uh, do you see how crazy that is? Um, it wasn't like that earlier today, but, and in fact, everything behaved pretty well, you know, but as you can see, it's starting to consume half of the dish and, uh, it's way over there. Um, I just have to monitor it for now, but things were looking good earlier today. Um, I tried to do another reading, um, just recorded and to post on YouTube, but it cut me off even though I had the memory. So, um, what the angels told me was that <laughs> I am taken for granted and the ones that are listening mainly, um, my main audience seems to be a lot of, um, you know, it's just people who take me for granted. They are not necessarily haters, but obviously there are being that all of that stuff is coming from the bottom. Can you hear it? Do you hear it? That's insane. There's no draft. There's no AC on right now. It's just doing that on its own. Do you hear that? It's 12.13 a.m. right now. It's now May 2nd. It just turned May 2nd anyway. Um, do you see those um, long pieces of herb there? Um, there's a mixture that I have that um, is uh, supposed to um, calm down these type of dark energies. Um, it's mainly used for exorcisms and all of that. So... Um, yeah, I just, I don't know what to say. I'm at a loss for words. Mm. I, I really didn't expect it to turn out this way. I thought, it, I thought it was going to end, have a happy ending so I could do um, a reading once, um, I cleared up my phone and things got resolved with my Instagram account, but, um, I can't, I, I went on to YouTube tutorials and I decided not to work against the energy and not get stressed out because that's what they basically want to do. They want to feed into that type of energy. They want actually, um, their targets to feed into that energy. And I'm just using it as an opportune, opportune time to, um, explore other avenues and it's been great so far um yeah i i've already like let go <laughs> of it you know my 
um, the anxiety and all of that. And uh, just like kind of jumped, how do I say it? I got ahead of all of that. And, uh, you know, if I can recover my account with the content, then wonderful and great. But um, if I have to just cut my losses, I've already said goodbye to it, you know. Um, just got to keep moving forward. And even though I have record, um, a rough record, like maybe 80% of the um, information um, from what I've posted and all of that, um, I'm told not to like backtrack and duplicate the efforts. Just if I, um, and I just have that for my own personal space. So anyway, that's what we need to think about when, um, we run into instances like that, that there's no sense of lacking on our part. You know, we're not going to act as, um, a prompted mirror to what's suggested. Um, and, how do I say this? Um, I forget what we we're going to say, angels. Um, oh, that we're not going to be consumed in lack mindset. You know, what's proposed to us um, once something is consumed by fire or rage or envy or anything, you know, of distaste to our higher selves. We're not going to give in to that energy and reflect it. We're not going to mimic it. No. Um, we're going to realize that we are not just, you know, um, we don't just have the choice for abundance mi mindset, but we are truly, simply abundant. And um, so long as we're in flow, it's constant. So that's where I'm at. <laughs> do you see that? It's um. Do you see that though? It's like we're teaching um, younger flames. It's dual there now. So, um, that's that was I think one of the last readings that I did is that the um, our elders are teaching us how to um, face battle, face conflict. Um, the art of war in its um, pacifist um, way, you know. I, I yeah, through the methods of um, peace making, <laughs> and how to defend ourselves, how to stand up for ourselves, um, but not to be the provoke the one to provoke. Um, as well as not to be the one to react. Um, yeah. So I'm just taking a quick scan of all of this. It's with um, a new mix of, of um, protection candle that I made. Um, I made a series of them as I did for in bulk. But this one was just a bit different for the solar eclipse that was just yesterday. Or, you know, April 30th, anyway. Um, yeah, the new moon. So, just taking a quick scan if there's anything else that I can read from this just quickly. Hmm. Oh, I was told to also put, I was fixing like a, the copper wiring on a necklace. And so the pieces that I clipped off, I was told to put on this crystal that resembles a boat. It doesn't look like that right now because it's off to its side. What do you call it? Um, when cars go on their sides, it's like two wheeling. How do I say it? Um... I forget there's a certain term for it, but, um, yeah, so, um, copper is highly con conducive or conductive anyway, 
Um, and so it's really nice to wrap around crystals. So um, that goes for any energetic responses. And um, being that this crystal has always resembled the boat, um, I thought it would be helpful. Um, in response to energies like that, you know, considering that spirit was, um, holding on to the boats or the, um, you can see the hands as they're on the sides, you know, keeping them in course. Okay. Just going to take a closer look. So there's there's a battle here. And it's confused energy. Um it's still volatile. Still carries ill intent, but it's diffused a bit. So just as we um, teach the youth um, better ways, um, the dark side is um, uh, they're doing the same, um, misleading others. And so I think that's what spirit wants me to tell you. I see a girl in the background behind the flame. Um, give me one moment. I just need to check here. I don't think it's a dark energy, though, behind there. I'm not sure, though. Give me a second. There's several people. It's like... Mm, it feels tribal. They're ancestral. That's what it looks like to me. I honestly don't know how it's making those sounds. Anyway, I'll be able to get a better read once um, it's lower lit. It just, I don't know why, it just feels a little weird doing <laughs> um, a live read on my personal account. Um, because I don't like to push you know, what I do to others who are just really not receptive of, you know, of the things that I do and the things that I teach. Um, so... Let's see here. Is there anything else that I need to pull from this at this time? Angels of love and light, is there anything else? Hmm. I think that's it for right now. I just wanted to monitor this um, a little bit longer. If it gets any crazier, I will indicate that. Um, you know, if you're interested, if you're, if you understand these energies or are encountering them, just as a heads up. 
sometimes it's um, a foreboding of something, um, something bigger that's going to happen. Um, because the last time this happened, um, in a conjuring, um, it consumed the whole dish. It went from, you know, that one smoke to two to three, then the whole dish was, um, it got pretty crazy. So, um, there's something here though. Because it, there was a female energy conjuring this up. And it was kind of coven-like. But now, I feel like it has to do with calling in ancestors. I feel like, do you see that part right there? It looks like it's someone that's beheaded. You know, summoning in. Like the limbs are kind of cut off and the head is cut off and you just see like the torso like leaning forward um so it's someone that lost their position a high-ranking position and they're calling in dark darkness and that image those images that you saw in the background or that i saw in the background you see okay so there's the female energy of profile of one um, she's holding something like, um, it's like a, a dance or some kind of daily kind of ritual that meant something to them in the past. Then behind is also another like warrior type of spirit. You see like the, the profile friendly though, but do, also doing a dance. And then I thought I saw one other here. Give me a second. Just a couple of workers like sitting in the background. But um, this is ancestral energy. So this person is petitioning not just um, the underworld, like dark spirits, but also ancestors. Now the thing is, is that ancestors want, um, they understand the oneness of the whole. Um so they're, even though they, um, want to help their lineage, um, and the preference is usually by blood. I, I don't, um, how do I say it? Cause I don't know if it's usually by blood, but, um, how do I say it? They, that's not the right way to say it though. Um, they, our ancestors want what's best for us. Just like how a, you see a, um, how grandparents respond to the, um, announcement of, or like the, the grandchild, uh, a newborn grandchild. Or a great grandparent, even more so, responding to a great grandchild. It's the same thing. So the further I've talked about this before, but the further apart we are, um, the our elders um, want to see. They they want to also assist in the rising, the the advancement of um their lineage they their their youngest form um so um there is a sense of um favoritism there um but they understand the um, oneness um how do i say this angels the importance of oneness um the value of oneness and a true sense of community so, um, they, how do I say this? They understand when lessons need to be taught. So they will not be manipulated. 
Now, if they are conjuring ancestors from the dark, you know, ancestors, ancestors that have fallen, that's another thing. But spirit sees all. Um, this person is carving out their own destiny. Their own karma. Oh gosh, they are. <sighs> okay. And it's going to be severely impounded being that they are in they are intentionally teaching this to the youth, to younger individuals, aspiring individuals. And that's not right. The ancestors know that that's not right. Uh, yeah. So I think at most they will only or this this energy that lost their position, um, whether they were forced to resign or um, or basically laid off. Um, what do you call that? Um, discharged, dishonorably discharged. They will only be able to access the um, the underworld, like dark forces. And the thing is, is, um, you know, spirit told me earlier today when I, you know, was thinking about this stuff is that, um, these people have so much anger that their, their judgment is clouded. They don't realize that there's no loyalty within, um, darkness, especially when they know that you're, you like, you have ill intent, um, like absolute ill intent. Um, so they turn on you as well. You know what I mean? Like they know that um, you have a more pronounced sentence because of what you're doing. Like they'll comply with your wishes, but they'll also come back to not just haunt you, but um, uh, magnify your own demons by the will of spirit of God. Yeah. So we personally don't need to mix our energies into this. Um, it's just an observation that spirit wants us to, um, observe, you know, to understand really. There's another part to it, too, though. Um, oh, that's not good. Okay. Um, you know what this reminds me of? It's um, one of the Star Wars... Um, I forgot which one it was. Those, that, one of those movies where Anakin... Um, is like losing his limbs because he turns to darkness. Um, like the lava or something gets to him. Anyway, um, he, he's basically losing his divinity within um, letting the anger take over. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what's happening. <laughs> Um, there was some other message here, though. Mm. Oh, it's 12.34 on the clock. One, two, three, four. Um, okay, I think it's time to step out. Um, if there's any additional messages that I remember, I will put it on the description box. But thought I'd just share this moment with you, um, this type of energy that's um, uh, something that I think we should be aware of. Um, 
yeah, it's too. It's um, it's meant to sh- to keep us on guard. Um, to always stay alert and aware, and the importance of staying sober, um, so that we are able to tune in better to these frequencies. Um, yeah. Because they um, come in disguise. Yeah. And they come in when you least expect it. Yeah. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks very much. Um, I'll see you all again later. Okay, bye for now. Do you guys see how crazy that is? Pretty insane.